Hello. Thank you for joining us for this devotion from Wisconsin Lutheran Chapel and Student Center. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the Apostle Paul's words recorded in Romans chapter 12, verse 18. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Maybe you've heard Bill Cosby's somewhat famous comedy sketch about revenge. As he's outside in the winter having a snowball fight with his friends, Junior Barnes hits him in the face with a slush ball. Before Cosby can get his revenge, his mother calls him in for supper. So Cosby goes out after supper and packs up a snowball, a good big slush ball, and puts it in his freezer. And understanding that revenge is a dish best served cold, he waits, and he waits, and he waits, until his birthday, July 12th. He invites Junior Barnes over to sit on his porch and drink orange sodas with him. And when it's time to go in to get another orange soda, he plans to grab the slush ball. Only it's not there. His mother has thrown it away. So Cosby does the only thing that he can think of. He goes back outside and spits on his friend. We can understand Cosby's feeling, can't we? We're told that, that revenge is sweet. We're told that it's great to get even, not to get mad, but to get even with people. But our Lord would beg to differ, wouldn't he? And so would the Apostle Paul in these words, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. You don't have to look very far around our world or on social media, in the news, that we live in a world that's full of angry people. And sometimes that anger is directed at us as individuals, and sometimes it's collectively directed at us as God's people, as Christians. Isn't it tempting when those angry words are directed at us to snap back, to fire off our own angry words? And maybe it even seems like it's okay. After all, they started it. But think about these words from the Apostle Paul. As far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Isn't that exactly what our Savior Jesus did? Lived at peace? Came to this world to make peace between us and a holy God? Sinners and their God? As he was getting nailed to the cross, Jesus prayed for those who executed him. And he went to that cross to pay for all of our sins of anger as well. We're forgiven. We have life eternal. There's no reason for us to be angry. We have the greatest joy waiting for us with our Lord in heaven. Remember Jesus' own words that when your enemy strikes you on one cheek, turn the other cheek as well. What an impact our words and our actions can have in an angry world. When instead of repaying anger with anger, we heap good on someone. We heap words of kindness and peace. That reflects our Savior's love for us, doesn't it? Think of the impact that can have in a world that's full of anger to speak with kindness and compassion. Oh, we might not change the whole world and make it a perfectly peaceful place, but you and I as God's people can do our part, reflecting the love that Jesus has for us first and then living at peace with all people. God bless you in those efforts. Thanks for joining us today for this devotion. We'll see you again next week.